Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an important question for developers who want to ensure their code performs optimally. Our viewer is curious about how to include Google benchmark tests within their continuous integration environment. They want to know how to check if their code has become slower, whether they need to manually process JSON outputs, and if there's a more elegant way to handle performance checks across different machines. They also wonder about integrating this process into Jenkins. Let's dive into these challenges and explore some effective solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To include Google Benchmark in your continuous integration environment, start by integrating the Benchmark library into your project. You can do this by adding it as a dependency in your build system. Next, you will want to run your benchmark tests and capture the output. Google Benchmark provides a JSON output option that you can use to log the results. To check if the code has become slower, you can automate the comparison of the current benchmark results with previous results. This can be done using a script that parses the JSON output. For accounting for different machines, consider normalizing the results based on machine specifications or using a dedicated benchmarking server. This helps ensure consistency across different environments. Finally, to integrate this process into Jenkins, you can create a Jenkins pipeline that runs your benchmarks and includes steps for parsing and comparing results. This way, you can automate performance checks with every build. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To integrate Google Benchmark in Jenkins, the user recommends using a specific plugin. They output test results in JSON format. The command used to generate the JSON output is benchmarks.exe with a specified output file. A custom JSON schema was created for the plugin. The custom JSON schema includes properties for benchmarks, real-time, CPU time, and iterations. However, the user notes a limitation in displaying time units. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To include Google Benchmark in your continuous integration process, you can use a Python tool that automates the evaluation of benchmark tests. A special thanks to Mike Van Dyke for the helpful hint on this integration method. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. And until next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.